Now, I think scouts, and you probably think of campfires, singing songs, the motto, be prepared, and that kind of salute. And the chances are you probably think it's mainly a boy thing as well. Well, it's not. And one person hoping to change all of that is Anne Lim. She is the first ever female leader of the Scouting Association. She wants more girls to get involved. And she's with me now, as you can see. Uh, congratulations on getting the top job. Why more girls? Because that's not a new thing, is it, about girls joining Cubs and Scouts? No, you might be surprised. Beavers. Well, your viewers might be surprised to know that since 1960, uh, women have been involved in the scouting movement and indeed for a quarter of a century uh, we as a movement have had girls at beavers level six to eight years old and right up to 18 to 25 year olds young people at university yet you're the first female leader I'm the first uh, female chair of the board of trustees okay and we're a collective leadership I mean who wouldn't jump at the chance to work with Bear Gill Bear Grylls as chief scout <laughs> Yes, it's a, fair, it's a fair point. What kind of change, Anne, do you think you can affect? Because, as I said there, the girls have been allowed to join the Cubs and the Scouts and the Beavers for quite a while now. Are there enough joining? Um, I want to get more people involved in scouting. That's more young people, of course more girls, but more boys. I want to get more adults involved, volunteering and helping out. And that can be as a, a scout leader, of course, but also it can be as a trustee. It can be even somebody famous giving a bit of a celebrity hand to a fundraising thing from time to time. We just need more people doing really good things, good deeds, as you said, in society as, a gen as in general. What, what kind of preconceptions do you think, or wrong preconceptions people have of scouting, given that it was started in the Victorian era, pretty much. Not that far off. Well, nowadays, you can do badges in coding or circus skills, and you can do camp craft, but you can do community impact as well. And I think what we've got to get across to young people is there's something in it for everyone. It's scouting for all. And it's about making scouting relevant to the 21st century, and that's what I want to do. Because my oath when I was a cub, when I was eight, we had to do your duty to God and the Queen. Well, that's changed, hasn't it? We have a whole range of alternative promises. Yeah. Uh, we obviously have Muslim groups of scouts, we have Buddhists, we have all people of no faith. We, we are open to everyone, and we don't require people, obviously now in a multicultural Britain, uh, to swear an oath to God. With boys and girls able to join, where does that leave girl guides, for example? Because guides and scouts were born out of the, the Baden Powell family, both of them, weren't they? So is there going to be more merging between the two groups or are they going to be left to their own thing as well? Um, of course, scouts accept girls and boys, but scouts do an awful lot with girl guides. I mean, at the World Jamboree in Japan just this summer, girl guiding and uh, scouting were working together. Um, it's, it's a movement to engage young people in doing good things. And that's a movement across girl guiding and indeed scouting. And you think it's right that they stay with just girls only? Well, example. I think that's a matter for, the, for guides. I'm speaking for scouts and we, for a quarter of a century, have had girls and boys working together just as we have in society. OK. Uh, and, I mean, are you now going to get stuck in? You're going to go and uh, sit around the campfire and sing songs and toast marshmallows? Because who doesn't love a bit of that? Yeah, I mean, my family will tell me I've always been doing that anyway. <laughs> so it's not about getting started. It's about continuing. I love a fire. You love a fire? <laughs> yes, okay. I do. And everybody loves a campfire. It's the right time of year for you, isn't it, then? <laughs> and many thanks indeed for coming. Thank you, Matt. Very, uh, very best of luck in the new role.